Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 478. I'm your host, Norman Sanso, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up, a look at the logo design for Generation 5 from Ollie Frape. Frap, frap, hmm. Okay. A uh, lettering artist over on LinkedIn named Ollie Frap apparently helped create the logo for this generation of colorful horses. And they have posted up a little gallery of the process on top of it. They didn't do the final run for with, with the CG jewels and color, colors. <laughs> But they did design the primary overall look of it. Check out a few of the images in the uh, plain form below. <coughs> so let's see. Okay, this is this is the new logo for the new generation G5. Where this is, uh, the bling and color was not done by him. <laughs> um, who knows? The new generation that was done by the other people, I guess. Um, so let's see. Uh, this is uh, okay. So um, looking at the overall logo design here, um, the one on the top left that is uh, G four, as we all know. Uh, and as they move on, uh, Ollie here um, took inspiration from the old designs from G1, 2, 3, uh, took what works and whatnot, and tried to mesh in to the newest generation. And looking at the, uh, what you call this, looking at all of the inspiration, all of the um, designs, you, you get to see that. Uh, one of the few key points that must be included in the design is a heart. Uh, a, at least the shape of a heart. So uh, you get to see like um, the first... Oh, I don't have my cursor here. Uh, is that is that something that I can do about it to setting? Let's see. Give me a second, folks. A general output. Put that. Give me a second. This this is one of those things where I should have done this um, ages ago. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's the output. Oh no. Oh, but believe me when I say this. Um, <clears throat> one of the few things that uh, must be included in every pony logo is the heart. Uh, if you see in G four, there's three of it. Uh, one in my and P and O. Uh, with the new one, it's just in the O. Um, the other thing is that the Y, the N has a bit of a tail. Um, it's like a ponytail. And this carries over to almost all of the designs from then to now. Uh, one of the few things that um, didn't carry over from G4 to 5 is the rainbow theme at the top uh judging by some previous logos here and there uh <clears throat> i'm not 100 sure this is previous it could be uh the newer generation but anyhow one of the few uh design elements that did not cross over or did not brought over to the new one was the rainbow um uh, the, the rainbow arch and looking at the design overall this is not bad this is not bad i, I the, the structure is when you take a look see at it it has this um kind of triangle um more <laughs> from top to bottom and the way that they do it is pretty smart um the my at the top with two letters little has six pony has four but they expand it to be the base and whatnot and this is the design the overall design is really cool and way <laughs> the final product is this uh, my little pony and this will be the newest logo design for moving up moving forward yes 
uh, the banner with the a new generation that's something we have to see if it carries over into future products like uh, the series and whatnot because uh, a new generation is for the movie tagline but we got no idea if it's going to be my little pony a new generation season one like we got no idea it could be you know it could be because i do remember uh, what g2 it was um, My Little Pony, a pony sale, something like that. So anyway, um, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, talking about logo designs <laughs> uh, brings me back to my college days, you know. Anywho, uh, moving on. <clears throat> uh, Jillian Barrow explains Zip and Pip's royal position. Ima Lu deep dives into her story of Sprout. Huh, I didn't really get a chance to read this in advance, so I am going to be with you guys at reading this. <clears throat> so I still wrote this down. Okay, anyway. Uh, I would compile up a bunch of these minor factors that are slowly arriving from various movie staffers. But they come out so sporadically at the moment. Uh, have a two-fear twofer instead. <clears throat> Because uh, these are definitely discussion, discussion worthy topics. First off, writer Jillian Barrow has confirmed that Zip is in fact heir to the throne over Pip. Uh, a rumor was rumbling around the fandom that the two of them are twins, but Pip is in fact older. Uh, older. We might be calling Zip Queen Zip someday. And following that, we have another bit of extension on what Imalu explained during her panel the other day. <clears throat> it turns out that oh my goodness! It turns out Sprout went through many different variations while his character was constructed with costumes from the movie The Dictator, along with uh, Gandalf being a uh, Gan sorry, uh, along with Gandalfi being a big draw for his final evil form, she also goes into details about the past. The <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, she also goes into detail about the past Dio Brando <laughs> from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Haircut, he haircut. He was rocking in some of the concept and how they eventually stuck with. Uh, sidekick back look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Whew. Okay. Um, Zip and Pip are not twins. Zip is older, is the older sister and heir to the throne. I can see it. I can see it. And being, mm, I'm guessing that they're about two to three years apart. Probably. <clears throat> it kind of flows with the dynamic of how old the ponies are in Generation 4, being Fluttershy being the oldest and I'm guessing Rainbow Dash being the youngest. It's hard to tell with the whole, what you call this, um, backstory that they had. Anyway, um, this is interesting. This is interesting. Uh, let's carry on. Uh, was he a good sheriff, though? Uh, I forgot sometimes... Uh, sorry, I forgot some of it, unfortunately. Sprout went into many variations before get, finding the right one, considering his dictator part. I, I was looking more for Gandalfi reference, the dictator movie, <laughs> for his hair. I thought of what I like the most in villainous characters. The blonde type suits him quite well, so we kept the idea. Big eyebrows for angry expressions and his haircut was first a bit different with some hair on the front. My reference for his haircut was Theo Brando from Jojo, but we cut his front hair to keep a sight uh, slick back hair, alright. Uh, 
you know what? <clears throat> uh, Sprout, Sprout was not bad. I mean, that goes into review territory, and I'm no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on that much. What I can comment is on that he was a typical villain in terms of. Uh, children's cartoon shows and mm, I really can't go into it because that's why ammunition when I do do the review for the uh, movie so you know what? I'm gonna hold that thought there and who knows I might invite certain um, ponies around or certain characters <laughs> certain people to come back and do stuff yes so anywho, I'm gonna hold that there for now. So yeah, oh man, Th this is interesting. Um, Zip being the oldest, Pip is the youngest to the, the sisters, and this is one of those things where I'm wondering, Queen, what happened and stuff, because there is the whole another factor. Sorry, another review thing that. I want to call it. so it's, <laughs> this conversation is going nowhere but anywho let's move on to the next one a uh, beautiful concept art from alvaro ramirez for my little pony a new generation now up another gallery has been posted of concept art of the movie and this one is really incredible the artist named alvaro ramirez has some of the most beautiful um beautiful backgrounds and scenes out there so far ideas on location for a new generation plus some stylized cartoony plain six stuff to make it even better a gallery down there link links yes so man i i have comments on the happenings now um i'll hold that till the end okay last one Amazon apparently has special edition boxes for Generation 5 pony orders. Yay! <laughs> uh, let's see who wrote this. Seth. Alright, anyway, uh, the pony store over on Amazon apparently has a thing going where sometimes they will send you orders with a full on special edition My Little Pony Generation 5 box on. Sorry, one of the designs behind them has popped post showing of what they look like over on LinkedIn. Apparently if uh, apparently it's still unknown how you can guarantee to get one, but I'm assuming certain size orders will unlock the box. The QR code on the site actually lists the details and colors of the pony inside, though she doesn't show how that works. Uh, get a gallery of the box below yes oh wow this this is cool this is cool and yeah man this is one of those little things that make customer happy because just think about it this way um i don't think it's that big but it looks nice okay anyhow uh, think about it this way you buy a pony toy pony product especially from the g5 line of toys and uh, let's just say Tiny Tina or your daughter, whatever you want to call her, uh, asks you to buy something for related with the G5 series. You say yes because you love your daughter and whatnot, or probably son. Let's let's go child, just to be gender neutral. So you ask your child, uh, your your child asks you to buy stuff from you, and you say okay, why not? Yeah, I I go to the Amazon store. I go purchase a pony and then they come in with a box like this they are going to be happy and child is going to be very excited getting the box and whatnot and you'll be presently surprised pleasantly surprised yes pleasantly surprised overall this is just one of those nice gestures that multi-billion companies could do like they <sighs> In all honesty, I do enjoy this. This is really great. It's one of those good-hearted things that companies can, you know, just do. 
it's one of those things where it has a lot of things to do with um, Amazon and Hasbro because printing the box is not going to be cheap because what licensing I guess I guess because what the branding is going to be uh, Hasbro has I I got no idea I mean uh, I think Amazon prints their own box I never bought from Amazon so I got no idea <coughs> but overall um, I, I'm just going to wrap this up because overall this is just a kind gesture and it's really awesome on them and um, <laughs> we don't see much of Hitch only in one side of the box the rest he's, he's gone like it's ladies night out uh, but anywho with that <clears throat> um on to what i wanted to say about the news for this week i know it may seem little but honestly there were a lot there were a lot to cover and most of them are concept arts from artists um, 3D renders, um, behind the scene pictures, and so on. And I'm thinking, or what I'm, I'm sorry, uh, what I'm thinking here is this is one of those marketing strategies that Hasbro is doing. In all honesty, um, back in the days of G4, uh, this kind of release is considered leaks and whatnot, and it's a big no-no because oh no um our product is getting leaked out there oh no that, that's bad that that's very bad but with this one they're openly doing it from artists to concept designers to 3d whatever it is like it's out there <coughs> and i personally think that this is one of those marketing strategies where uh hexbro greenlit this saying that movie came out uh, it was a success, so to build up more hype and also to, uh, I won't say reward, because reward seems to be one of those things where it's, uh, reward could be one of it, but uh, how do you want to phrase this? Let's just say that uh, goodies, um, since the movie did well, um, as, as a thank you, let's, let's go with that. As a thank you to the fans, um, Hasbro greenlit the release of concept arts and so on to make them more excited for the upcoming TV series. And with that, we get to see a lot of behind the work scenes, we get to appreciate Boulder Media, we get to see how much work they put in and all the beautiful designs uh, from uh, what you call this storyboards to um, unused uh, story ideas and so on. I mean, all of those things back in G4 would have been unthinkable. But here and now, it's just out there. And here's the thing. G4 had 10 years, sorry, G4 had 9 years worth of um, content. And the, how would I put this? The, uh, the popularity came in slowly fast slowly but still uh, it creep up slowly that it gained popularity and Hasbro got no idea what to do with it up until probably season 4 or 5 um, and now with the experience that they have and the reach that they have they know that they have sorry they know that they have this community where there's a lot of fans behind it uh, G4 fans, even though they drop out, are still interested in the movie or pick their interest. And that's why earlier on, before the movie release, we had a lot of um, news about, oh, this movie is doing, uh, this movie is coming out, this movie this, this movie that. Uh, a lot of advertising. And once the movie came out, we get a lot of uh, positive feedback from Rotten Tomatoes um, being on Netflix top one I'm just gonna say top 10 being on Netflix Netflix top 10 for a number of 
days and so on after you, uh, when the movie came out and after the movie came out. And also with that, they needed to get hype rolling. So they allowed concept artists and Boulder Media Studios to slowly release things that can be released to the public. Uh, concept arts, uh, unused, what you call this, unused um, story ideas, storyboards, and so on. And overall, it's it's a smart decision. It's a smart move. With that, we, we get to see, oh, this looks cool. Oh, I like this company. I like what they're doing. They're, they're, they're pretty uh, snazzy. Um, what they're doing is genius i want to see more from them in the future and so on blah 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 and yeah you know what it's a smart move it's it, it is a smart move on hasbro part hasbro's part to allow them to do this and you know i, I got no qualms obviously this is the my little pony department because when it comes to the other Part of Hasbro from the gaming section to the uh, the toy products there are some problems there are some problems but I am not deep into the other parts of the interworkings of Hasbro so I got no idea what they are for ponies one of the few things that I can tell you now is that toys uh, the toy releases are not that many. Um, probably they go out in the US, but over in Malaysia, it's not widely out yet, especially the G5 toys. And uh, as for that, I, I really can say, I mean, we're not getting the bombastic t-shirts from um, companies that print out the t-shirts like before or caps or whatever it is that came out um, mugs and so on you know uh, we, yeah we, we have to wait and see when the series comes along because uh, the trading card games those are one of the things that kind of pick interest of people i mean i wish wizard of the coast were doing it but <sighs> judging by what happened to the transformers card game <laughs> but anywho let's wrap this up <clears throat> If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the sh suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themeshowgmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show Twitter account is at uh, Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also, sorry, uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stay your radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast over on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Tara, and some other people reviewing Pony episodes, comics, movies, and specials. Sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and those are cartoons, comics, animes, mangas, and also video games. Movies too, yes, movies too. So if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!